Hey guys, what is up? This is a joker here, and I have a great, great idea that involves the Pepe Kira program. I wanted you guys to understand that there is a way to finally scale your suit properly. I know a lot of you who are into making the Iron Man suits out of the Pepe Kira program um, have trouble always scaling, you know, when it comes to measurements and you know, getting the suit just right for each body part. And, you know, you always have to print out and like do a beta test and like make a small piece just to figure out exactly where you're going with it. And if it turns out too big, you got to scrap it. And then, you know, you're wasting money at the same time because you're wasting foam or you're at least wasting cardstock paper or you're at least right, wasting resin and paint and Bondo and whatever you use. You know, it's just an annoying process. So if you want to know how to scale your suit correctly. This this trick will only work with Helagax. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Helagax, Helagax, um, Mark 42, uh, Pepecura files. Um, this trick will only work with his because he decided to release a full suit of, of, of everything in one. And that's the whole trick here. And I'll show you. If you decide to make a Mark 42 um, suit and repaint it for, you know, the Avengers Age of Ultron movie that is coming out in um, May, uh, you know, this is your way of doing it. And, you know, if you just want to make a Mark 42 just, you know, because you want to make a Mark 42, then this video is also for you as well. So what you want to do is open up Epicura. You want to use Helagix. I'll put the link in the description on where to find it. Um, his link to his, his form where you can download all the files. Um, I have all my files here. I renamed them. So I know, you know, which ones that are modified and, you know, which ones that I need to use for uh, myself. Um, so here's the one I just downloaded fresh. So as you see here, I'll full screen it so it's a bit easier to see. Here is all the files that he put. This may seem familiar to some of you who have, who are familiar with Helagix files. Um, and here is the full model of the entire suit when it's put together, of course. Now, the trick is um, you want to get the scale to your height. Now, he defaulted this file specifically to fit him. So, he apparently is five foot ten this would fit would fit a person that's five foot ten but when you want to make a suit you should always make the suit at least an inch or two bigger than your height because if if it's exactly your height then you're not going to really have much room to move around in the suit believe it or not and it just will feel very uncomfortable obviously you know it's common sense you'll want to make the suit a little bit bigger just like in the movies Tony Stark, when he steps out of his suit, he's like it's like he's stepping down, you know, down from out of it, pretty much, because the suit is bigger than him. So if you think about it, you're want you're gonna want to do the same thing. Now, what you want to do to get the scale right is well for you, obviously, you'll go to two D menu, you go to change scale, you go to scale factor. Now, as you see here, here's where it shows all the information: height, width, depth, scale. Now, all of his files are scaled at this number. And I think a few of his other files are, are um, I think, created from other people. But like Iron Maiden and, and, and a few others, I don't really know the, 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 the names. But um, the scale might not be exactly the same as this. But it's supposed to fit a 5 foot 10 person regardless. All the files on his page. I'm not 100% sure if I'm correct on that. But he made it very clear whenever someone asked a question in the forum about scaling, he always responded with the same answer. So he strictly made it certain that all the files on his forum are made for a 5 foot 10 person. Now, enough of that, the whole scale. What you want to do is go to the height. Now, this is calculating the entire height of the iron nut suit. So it's 8, sorry, it's 1851 right now this number here it's not very important the, the last number 
It is, but in a way, it, you're going to want to leave it at 0 or you're going to want to leave it at 1. 1 and 0 won't really make much of a difference. Now, here's the trick. You go to a site where you would basically type in um, height, conversion. I'll even put all of this in the description so you don't have to search it in. So I, I basically went on Google and I pretty much was trying to find out you know what are the different uh heights of the iron man suit just to you know get it more realistic now personally my height is five foot eight so i'm gonna want a five foot ten suit or a five foot nine suit um so honestly these files that he created are perfect for me already i don't need to modify them which is wonderful i don't want to modify them because i want to actually build the suit from um you know the files you know the way they are I don't want to have to actually modify them and then, you know, restruct them onto the paper so, you know, none gets left out of the paper when it prints and all that stuff. You know, just just that on top of that, I want to create all the files by themselves. So you have the leg piece here. It's by itself. You got the foot. It's by itself. You got the, the, the thigh and the knee and then you got the cod piece and then you got the, the waist and then the chest, etc all by itself one by one i don't want to have to print out all of these files at once so whenever you see how like it's marks 42 and then anything else after that um it should work anyway so let's get on to it i've been rambling on long enough you go to a high conversion site and it should give you a list of you know what the heights in a metric and in, in centimeters are right now this thing this thing works as millimeters, right? So obviously there's going to be another number after the third number because it's in millimeters. Whenever you get into a smaller unit, you have to add an extra number and add, you add an extra decimal place. So what you want to do is use this as a reference. If you are, let's say, five foot eight, you would want to be around the one 72.5 metric or five foot nine the 175 or more of a solid number if if, if the numbers aren't 100 percent legit here if you don't feel that they are try a different source go to another website you'll find other websites that have the similar calculations say five foot eight you got 172.72 i think this is a bit more accurate now you go here it will literally give you it by the decimal this is one of my favorite sites. Now, if you go to five feet and then you go to eight, man, this is very precise. See here, the first 8.1102 inches and then it has 8.5039 inches. So I think it's calculating it by the smallest and it gives you three options as an example for five foot eight. Um, so you just look to the side here and you'll see the number literally go up by one each time. I'll put this link in the description too. So you guys can use it as a reference. So let's say that you are five foot eight. You want to choose the last option here. You take 175 centimeter. You go back to the Pepecure program. You take out 185 and you put 175. You can leave it one or zero, but if you want to be precise, leave it at zero there now your suit is going when you click ok the suit well all the parts here are gonna be for a person that's five foot eight isn't that wonderful now you can pretty much do that for every single um you know height here if you like so let's say you're six feet two right you type in 188 and then you'll just leave a zero at the end because it's in millimeters so hopefully you're getting you're catching the drift here. Um, now, once you press OK, all these files might shrink if if you chose a smaller scale from where they already are. And if it's a higher scale than five foot ten, as it already is defaulted, then you will have bigger files on paper. Now, what you want to do is if you're trying to make every file individually, such as you know all of these files here as an example. You see they got. You got the knee, and then you got the left boot, and then you got the thigh here, and you got the neck here, and then you got the shin, 
and then you got the arm files and whatnot. So you want to take this scale number, you want to copy it. Let's just say you wanted to open up um, hmm, the apps, right? Oh, I'll have to exit this first. So you open the apps file by just dragging and dropping it. Here's the apps file, right? It even says that it's scale to fit him. Anyway, so you go back to the 2D menu, go to change scale, scale factor, and then you literally paste the scale in here to change it. Now you click OK, everything shrunk. Now this is designed to fit the, 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 the selected height that you, you know, chose to be or chose to make for your suit, for your body. So hopefully you guys understood this. I did drag it on a, a long time trying to get into detail there in the beginning and everything. But hopefully you guys get the whole idea of this. I, I, I figured it out. I was like, holy shit, this guy made an entire suit. And, you know, he managed to actually um, measure it correctly because it actually had a height that was very accurate to 5 foot 10 in millimeters so it's like wait a second if i can actually convert this into centimeters i can actually use this as a reference to create any uh suit in height that i want and i mean if you want to make a suit for somebody else you know you can use the same idea the same method it works it's amazing um i'm pretty sure someone else has thought of this already but um i just discovered it for my own so um i just wanted to put it out there uh you know so others can learn if others haven't already. And I'm going to also be putting this in the form. So, um, you know, not only do, you know, the people out there just scrolling on YouTube trying to figure out, you know, frustrated on what they got to do, to, you know, get the suit right. And, you know, the first time instead of the third or fourth or fifth time, um, you know, wasting products and whatnot. They'll get it right then and there when they start it out. And I think that's that's only fair. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something.